Hello everyone, it's Taylor. Uh, today is Tuesday, which I'm off my game because it's Columbus Day weekend. Well, it was, but yeah, I was off my game a little bit with timing, and but now I'm making my video now. So, this week's topic is some of my favorite LGBT books, shows, and movies. Uh, books. I haven't really had the chance to sit down and read an LGBT book lately. Uh, I have to start researching soon, so I'll probably read, like, some informational books. Just because I'm doing a huge presentation on trans, the umbrella, for a huge conference coming up in November. So I have to build a long presentation for that, and I'll be looking into that. Also... Uh, there is this movie, I'm trying to think what it was, I just watched it, I'm gonna look right now actually because I watched it at a Pride Alliance meeting and I forgot the name, um, so it was a book and I'm trying to think, ah, it was a book and it was, it was a movie, I'm really off my game, I'm very sorry. Uh, but, yeah, the movie itself was very outdated. It was, like, 2004. It followed five, first four people transitioning from female to male, which was actually kind of convenient, because I'm doing the same thing. Uh, but it was outdated, used a lot of outdated terms. All of them had the same procedure, so it wasn't that, like, great of a movie. But, you know, it could have been a lot worse. There, It was very political sometimes. But, I mean, that's a normal... Okay, it's called Boy I Am. I just found it. And it looked at the questions and resistance towards FTMs in the lesbian community. Well, from. Because a lot of people say a, le a transgender male is just a very butch female who likes women it's very derogatory and i don't prefer we like it but i mean i don't choose terminology these days well those days uh books so i'm gonna be doing a lot of research so i'll look into that um and plus my work i the place I work at, Stonewall Center, at UMass, yeah. Uh, it has a huge-ass library, so I'm going to take full advantage of that library and read as much as I can within the four years I'm here. Also, TV shows, obviously Orange is the New Black. I can't talk about LGBT TV shows and not say Orange is the New Black. Also... I used to watch Glee for like a week because Demi Lovato was on it and that was an LGBT relationship. So I'll toss that in there. Um, movies, I just brought one up. Oh, other shows too. Obviously The L Word. Modern Family. I'm just throwing out shows that I've seen. Uh, my life doesn't really revolve around these movies, so I can't name them off the top of my head. Uh, my roommate doesn't have any either, so I can't steal any ideas from him. Uh, but yeah, I don't really watch, I don't have time to watch too many TV slash movies. But when I do, I get to do... I get to look, I should say. Ah. Uh, yeah, there's a ton of trans related movies at UMass in my Stonewall Center, so I'll definitely take a look. But other than that, yeah, I think that pretty much rounds out what I'm looking for. Yeah, there's a lot of LGBT movies here, so I'll take a look into that. Queer's folk. I forgot queer's folk. Uh, but also, uh, so that pretty much rounds up my video for the week. Oh, yeah, I'll see you next Sunday, probably, because I'm hoping my timing works this time. 
But, yeah. Have a good weekend, everyone. Bye.